Apologize. Actually, reminds me of some holding up. If you need maps, I can make them for you now. So if you need a kind of map, just let me know and I can make it. Uh, if I, I'll probably end up asking you for that favor here and there. Yeah. But other than that, really, there's nothing. Other than that, really, it's no big deal. Yeah. Don't forget to drag over the plain ribbon. Your ribbon. Hold on, though. Or... I know, I was just deleting things and then adding, uh, and just adding things. So, Tim, mind you, I apologize. I will do what you said earlier, though. That is about as much as I can do. Yeah, it'll work. Uh, in the about, in the about ten minutes I had before the game. Because, again, I didn't have any time to work on these, because work and all that shit. So, moving on. But, Tim, I will do what you said. Be... The medic. Yeah, just drive your tokens. You can see this all. We cannot game. make these smaller, can we? Yeah, we, we can, can see everything. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, just drag yourselves onto the, the, the thing real fast while I add this in real fast. Uh, just give me a second. Not that it matters, actually. But, yeah, not that it matters. Doesn't matter. Uh, huh. I do want to say that door is locked. Closed and locked. Hmm? Which door? Uh, the front door. Okay, the so where, where should we beat, though? Okay. There. Got it. I don't think that's supposed to be... Nope, that is my nightgaunt. Yeah. The one that I rode here. <laughs> right. So, uh, should we be here, or...? Uh, it's not inside the church at the moment, but, uh... Yeah. Not in the church, but on the outside of it. So about right a little bit back. Like right here? Yeah, right about there. Um as I get here and the night gods flying towards the door, I want to flick my hand out and using telekinesis want to try to just fling the door open. Um as you pull your hand out to cast telekinesis to push the door open, you hold your hand out, and the and the barricade that is currently there doesn't move. Hold on, I can get in. Is there like a crack in the door? Or? Uh, it is actually very. The barricade is actually very well made. So no uh, gap there whatsoever. Is, it is. There is. There are boxes stacked on top of each other, blocking the door. What about walls? Uh, there are a few windows here and there. Basically, I just need... I just need a one-inch gap. I, um, I teleport to the other side. Uh, as you focus in to teleport, again, nothing happens. What the fuck? Can I find a oh, gap? Holy shit. Okay. So, uh, as you all are sitting there trying to get into this, I'm just like, trying to figure out why. Um, if you want to drag yourself out on the thing, you can. Mm -hmm. Is there another door? Or the um, there is a side. There is a side passage that there is a side room off there rather small kind of like a uh how you'd expect a uh like a small garage is area and uh, you know this to be where you keep uh where you can tend to the wounded uh every once in a while is that door locked uh no that door is wide open okay maybe we can get in through here i follow I look inside. Do I see anything? Uh, as you walk in, you see a couple people standing amongst them. Uh, the two closest to you happen to be rather... The one laying down on the cot, the rectangles there, um, is very well wounded, cut up. Um, the male standing next to her... Uh, sitting on the bed next to her, uh, just appears to have a, la a large gash across his face. I'd like to run um, up and heal them. 
I'll go right ahead. As you do this, uh, one of the the ones standing in the middle of the room looks over at Anna. Thank God you came. What what's happened? I don't know. Some people showed up out of nowhere. They they demanded that we leave. We asked them why. They answered with he gestures to the room. This. Why can't we get into the main room? That would probably be uh, the mage that they brought along. Oh, great. Mages. My favorite. Oh boy, I throw my hands up. <laughs> I figured it's type down instead of continuously rolling. Uh, I place my hands upon a few of the wounded, healing them along with Groon. Um, passing through everyone's per passive perception, that does not work. Uh, not, not you guys for the new person. So anyways, um, you managed to get a couple of them back up. Mm -hmm. The cultist is kind of cultist. Uh, yeah. He's just kind of sitting there rubbing his head. Ah, oh, god. And we fucked up with this. What the hell happened? Like I said, he came in, they came in, and they demanded that we leave, so that way they can get a closer look at the statues without us bothering them. We said, we asked questions, and again, they responded with this. I'm going to kill them. Please do. Do you know who sent them? Were they from Shinto? Henry sent a message out to some of the colleges asking for help. He wanted to get he wanted to know what they what the what these statues were. It, it He meant well. He didn't mean for this to happen. Hmm. Hello? Eh. Oh thank god that my internet crashed. No no. We're just he did say Chantel. Straight up, though, yeah. when he was talking to us. Oh, Connor. R.A.P. Uh oh. Hello? Hello? Hi. I, th Hi. Th I thought my internet was dying, too. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't need that happening again. Oh, God. Who's, who's internet Hello? dying? Hi, girl. Connor. Connor. Net neutrality, where have you gone? One person. Okay, well, is there another entrance Wait. to the main part of the oh, church? Back. Is there another entrance to the main part of the no, church? No, he's got. Uh, no, he's got all the. He's got all of them blocked off, even the tunnels. Anyway, we try to get How in. How thick is this wall? Shit. Uh, as you put your head against the wall. <gasps> what is the wall made of? Uh, as you put it, the wall is made of wood. If you burn down my fucking church, we're not gonna burn it down. That'd be insane. I can explode it. How about <clears throat> uh, as you lay your hand against the wall to assess how thick it is? There's a moment where you kind of second guess yourself. You place your hand on the wall. And there's a moment that you second guess yourself and you place your hand on the wall. <laughs> Until you finally realize something's wrong here. Uh, something uh, is wrong. Gee, thanks. Genius. Can I try and figure out what exactly is wrong? Um, as you think to yourself, what's wrong with this? Nothing comes to mind. <laughs> Other than the fact that you just managed to second guess yourself about a total of Ten times in a matter of a second. I try to push on the wall. Uh, you know, it's as you magic. as you place both your hands on the wall and push yourself against it, I need a I need a uh, Constitution save. Oh boy! Oh thank God! Yay! You manage to firmly place your hands on the wall, <clears throat> and as you open your eyes, you're not your hands aren't on the wall. They're actually on Anna's chest, and you're pushing her over. I immediately reach my hand back. He's like, "Oh God, God, dude, that's just uh, a little bit harder." Like he's like wiping his hands on his legs. Like, uh, what the hell? 
Like, I, I bet to push on the wall. What the hell happened? Everyone, you just witnessed as Garoon held out his hands and then turned around and placed them both firmly on Anna's chest. Like, what happened? Okay, here's, here's what happened. I was looking towards the wall, I held my hands out, and I went to push on the wall. I know that there's been a lot of tension between this, and I don't want to deny this, but now's not the no, time to make up stories. Look, alright, first of all, we are, I'm an Oozkin, so first of all, that doesn't make any sense of why I would desire that. Second of all, I uh, swear... Uh, May. Uh. May, give me a perception check. Okay, like continue. You see, as a succubus, I can mate with any race. <laughs> so... Maybe... Maybe there's like some trick to this wall or something, like some sort of I'm kidding trick. Me. And I'm trying to make a perception check. Oh wait, check. Anna, also. Actually, Anna, give me a perception check. Yeah, okay, there you go. I was gonna ask, I wanted to carefully look over the wall. <laughs> Never mind. I would also like to look check. Wow. carefully to the wall. I would like yeah, that was, that was for the wall. Um, Tim, Anna, give this me... is officially the desert of Kyther's one shot. I hope you're happy. Okay. Pretty much. This <laughs> is. So, Evelyn, okay. uh, give me a perception check. Perception. I swear Please. to God. Yeah, you're on Yes, the... there we go. Finally. So, as you look over the wall, you could have sworn that there was a moment after he, after Garoon placed his hands on Anna's chest, that the wall shifted slightly to okay. where it was magical before, and then there was that moment in time where it wasn't. But it came back up to magical after that small moment. Okay. Uh, what does that mean that we can? How can we? How can we take advantage of this? How can we use this wall of advantage? We know the wall's Again? magical. That's that's a step. That's a step in the direction we need. Okay. okay. Um, May. Uh, can I yes. start? Um, can I start my ritual Hang of detecting on. magic? Hang on one second. Uh, sure. May, as you are looking over the wall, you can. There's some. There are some moments where, if you kind of position yourself right, you can see through the wall and you can see the person casting the spell. Oh, I still don't know what to do with that information, but I'm going to tell everyone. All right. Um, uh, May, if I may remind you about a specific armor that you have. Oh, oh yes, yes, you're right. That was that was my hint towards you, even though there are oh. actually four ways to solve this puzzle. Hey. I tried I have an teleporting idea. to the other side of this. Tele yes. I have um, an idea. Now, here's the thing, though. There, There's, like, three parts that can get a specific plan to work here. I it's, think. Yeah, I gave you two of the clues. May already knows one of those clues. And Evelyn, I told idea, you. Real quick. And I did tell you guys that there is a moment where the wall's not magical. I have an idea. Meg, you said you saw someone on the other side, right? What exactly were they standing? Mm, on the pedestal, presumably. Give but, me one second. Yeah. Actually, I have to move them over to the uh, layer here. I'm just, like, tilting my head at this weird angle because I can see through it and I'm, like, looking at them. There he is. So he's right... Oh. He's there? Mm -hmm. yep. And he's current... Uh, May, as you look, as you look through, he kind of... You don't exactly see his face as he's covered by the hood. But you see the hood simply turn, and a couple seconds later, a piece of wood covers the hole that you were looking through. Oh, as his hand I'm moves rude. over, as his hand moves from one end of the hall to the, to where you were covering the uh, hole. I have an idea. <laughs> I set up my turn and program it so it will not turn whatsoever. It will only shoot forward, and I program it to not shoot anyone in the radius, or even outside the radius. Basically. Only can shoot forward, can shoot none of these people. Hang right? on a second. Uh, yes, you are. Okay. So, okay, so as you set it up and it starts firing in a straight line. Yep. Uh, the You watch as there are, as the bullets, as soon as you think they're about to impact the wall. Well, they shoot them once. Stop. Yeah, oh. Well, when you, well, when you Test see fire. the turret... The, you see the bullet hit the where you think it's about to hit the wall it suddenly drops and hits the floor interesting hold on wait I said it's I, a rapid fire I reach out with oh my night gaunt's telepathy to just kind of broadcast to the other side of this wall 
Who are you, yeah. and what the fuck do you want? There's no response. Okay, um... Can we try to have someone, like, uh... Touch the wall again, like before, and then someone else try to get through while that happens? Because, you know, if I understand correctly, that was the point where the wall flickered, right? Changed its... Uh... Yeah, the wall, uh, there, like I said, there was a moment where the wall wasn't magical. And then it okay. came back up after that. Okay. Uh... So, but it's bolts... still a wall made of? But... Oh, the wall is so, made of wood. Oh, you said wall, yeah. wood, okay. Uh... That's why I thought about burning. Yeah, Each, well, I was thinking about fireballing it. Every time <laughs> But then that... we're gonna time us slowly. Hang on one second. Mm -hmm. Um, Garun, every time that you uh... That a bullet is about to hit the wall, it suddenly drops. To the floor. So, at this moment, after about a minute of this happening, there's about a... There's a small pile of these bullets just sitting on the floor. This is getting nowhere. Okay, Anna, are there um... any windows into the church? Are there any windows into the church? There were a few in the front, a few on the side, and the windows that were on this side of the wall that uh, you turned into a small medical center have been boarded up to give the medical, to give the medically inclined some privacy. I cannot I... see through the wall, right? At any point, like they can. Um, there are I'm some holes in the window. walls that you can. Yeah, I'm there are some holes in the, the front windows. I'm gonna I'm keep sorry, like um, making a distraction. As you guys walk out of there, there is, yeah. you do see a man standing there, um, kind of leaning against the wall as if listening in on you all. But after a bit, he kind of you see him shift and turn as you walk through. I completely ignore him. There are more important things to be honest. Hey, buddy, can you break down a wall? Can I miss the step through it or not? If I can see, if you said there are there are holes in the walls. Can I miss the step through it? If someone um, at, the, at that moment tries to touch it so that the wall does not magic for a while, can I try to miss the step through it? But, you know, combined with the fact that someone else is killing bugs. <laughs> there are you bugs on the wall, kill them! Okay. I need a volunteer! Yeah, whatever, I already embarrassed myself once. Okay. First of all, so I'll make sure. While looking through the wall, through the holes in the wall, basically, while while he's uh, touching it or whatever he was doing before, I make sure I'm very um, far away. Like, if I start moving towards anyone, just just kick me in the stomach. Not hard, just noticeable enough, okay? Because I'm um, not sure what's going to happen. Evelyn, as you're sitting there and you're looking through one of the holes again, there's a moment where you see the hood shift slightly, look directly at you, and the hole is covered with another piece of wood. Can I see into this window? Yeah. Um, yeah. When you look up, when you look in through the window, there's boxes covering it, but at the very top, it's like he didn't have enough. Um, as there is a slight bit of glass still showing. So I can't see through it. Uh, without any form of way to get up there, you can't see it. There should be a <sighs> way to think through this. Seriously, you guys, there is wait a second, stupid. I just remembered something. I'm gonna pick you up guys my have it. and I'm gonna climb the I'm gonna climb the building. <laughs> so, Garoon, <laughs> as you go to go climb up the building, you need a Constitution save. Um, I do want to say I am going to grab a hold of May and shift us to the ethereal plane. I'm like doing it here, like far that. away from anyone else. So, I'm totally down. Hang on. So, Garoon, as you. As you go to go walk up the side of the building, you take a deep breath, and you walk towards the building, place your foot firmly on the building. You you experience that same blink sensation that you felt back when you were dealing with Vaughn. As when you kind of come back from it, you notice that you're now firmly planted on the building next to it. What the hell? <coughs> He's getting some real bullshit. Alright. So, as you two shift over to the ethereal plane, um, and you look 
you kind of look through one of the small holes on the side of the building, and you see the guy there standing there again, his head simply turning, looking over the entirety of the wall where he thinks you all are at the moment. What the fuck, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? You did I'm make inside, that. Then. Good I'm job. Still inside. So I would I see that shit. Anymore. So I don't know. Good fucking job. Yeah, we all saw that shit. Um, I know. So at the moment, uh, and uh, May, you two do are kind of just staring at this figure as he's both hands out, for like scanning the wall quite rapidly. Uh. Yeah, I try to step through the wall. Cause, cause... Um, as you, as you go to go walk through the wall, you see a small flash come in front of his face as his hand, as his uh, left hand shifts from holding a piece of wood against one of the walls to just suddenly fly over to where you two are. Uh, I need you both to give me a strength save, please. No. Here's a question. Okay. I was gonna ask. The okay. second they do that, can so, I try and climb the building again? Uh, the moment, and, and as you step onto the, and as you go to go plant yourself firmly on the building, there's a moment where you actually get a half, halfway up the building before suddenly again that blink sensation happens as you're on the other side of the, as you're on another building. How the uh, hell to is you this two. Keep happening? To you two. Um, you. As you see his hand flash over to you, his his cowl not moving from that wall, there's a moment where you feel this pushing sensation coming onto your chest that dissipates. And again, you see him, you see his head just completely snap over to where you guys are, and his other hand come around. I need another one with advantage. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, as you, again, as you watch his hand come around, again, that second push that you, that you just felt come across, and again, you feel that pushing sensation on your chest, and nothing happens as you finally make your way into the church, and look up as the man is no longer standing there. Oh, shift back. Way in. All right, you son of a bitch, where'd you run? Um... I do want to point out that that was not a solution, but I completely forgot about uh, Ethereal Plane. I was just uh, going to keep looking for enough space, honestly, but that was going to be a tedious. Honestly, okay. if that didn't work, I was just going to have us all just try to go in different windows at the same time. I like it's like, here's a puzzle, and we just brute forced our way in. That's yeah, yeah my way much. life. The thing is, um, the way that you're, the way that I had this puzzle set up is someone was supposed to try to push on the wall, and then someone who could teleport was supposed to teleport in. That's what I was trying to do! Yeah! That's Ooh, literally what, what she said that she wanted to do. Yeah! yeah. I said that, that I said that, I said that that could work. I wasn't no, gonna say, she yeah, had, she was actually that. going through with it. I think that you just yeah. kind of forgot she said it. You, yeah. No, he covered it up. Yeah, I was even gonna, like, yeah. help her. Because the thing is, he... Because the thing is, he had detect life going on. So, as the moment that he saw someone, and he kind of added it, added it together that they were looking at him, he'd cover up where they were looking at him from, so that way they couldn't get into the building. Let's go kick some anyway, mages' ass. Going on in here? Yeah. Um, as you walk in. The pew, the uh, the pews were are kind of turned over. As you do notice that there are a few that are completely stripped down, uh, as those were the pieces of wood that he was using to cover up the um, the holes. Actually, other than that, the altar to the old gods that is sitting up on the stage is intact. He didn't exactly touch that. The rest of it, though, the rest of the pews and some of the boxes that were off in the corners, uh have been completely dismantled or used to cover up specific parts. Um, on the back of my night gong, I flick my hands around to put the pews to an upright position. Um, a few of them do manage to come to their standing positions again. But a few in the front, but the uh, two over 
here are beyond repair. As they as they come up to their upright position, you notice that they just kind of flop back down. Cat. Magic people, what do you see? Um, so as you all come into the building and rush over to where, uh, and a leading the way, of course, over to where you see the, um, over to where the tunnels are. Uh, we're going to take a small break as I need to go use the restroom. Right, I am so. going to murder a large amount of people. Yeah. I also oh, just probably. wanted to yell to them. I just wanted to yell to them. If they're like, if you can walk, you need to get out of here. Extremely dangerous here. Need to evacuate. 